Hi everybody, welcome to One Card Wonder Wednesday from March 18th, 2020. I hope you are all having a nice day today. So far so good here. The weather has been nice here where I am in Florida and so we have been sitting outside a lot. My dad is here visiting. Um, we had already had plans before all of this coronavirus stuff happened and he still made his trip to come visit. He drove, um, but anyway. Just wanted to say it's been a good day so far here. I'm gonna pull my video up, make sure you can see everything that I can see. We are going to be using the special someone stamp today, stamp set today. I love this little stamp set. I've been wanting to use it for a while and I'm so glad I'm finally getting to use it. And you can see we're gonna use a lot of little scraps because you can use little scraps with this set, which is fantastic. But my favorite part about this stamp set is um, this balloon is special. It's filled with helium, with heal, spelled H-E-A-L, and then a hyphen I-U-M. So that is the sentiment that I'm using on today's card because I think it's adorable. But I love these little critters too, the raccoon, the squirrel, and the little mouse. You've got the little balloons, the heart-shaped balloons. Happy birthday, thank you for a very special someone, a very special day, and some little flowers, and of course, the fantastic little balloon string, which I think is cute. So this is the card we will be making today. I decided to use that little tiny mouse because I just love him. And then there's a little word bubble that comes in the coordinating dies. These are the dies and they are the special day dies. And so you get all of these dies, you get two balloons. So you can cut out two at the same time if you want to, which is fantastic. All the little animals, the little word bubble, some little grass for the bottom of your card if you wanted that on there. But it's just an adorable little set, so I think you would definitely be remiss if you missed getting it. So the first thing that we will start with is we're just gonna take all these little scraps, and I've got a few different colors here, and we're going to use gray granite ink. That is pretty much what I used for everything except the sentiment, and for the sentiment, I used memento ink. So let's just take the balloon and we are going to stamp it once on each of these colors. We're going to get crushed curry, real red, Bermuda Bay, and pear pizzazz. I guess I kind of lied to you. We're not going to use the gray or the Sahara sand. We are going to use that for just the mouse, but we are also going to stamp him with Sahara sand. And then because of the dies, I just used the dies to die cut all of these out, which obviously I already have that done by the magic of film. So let's see what we have. I cut out a word balloon with vellum. I have the little mouse. He's upside down. There's our balloons. I actually have a couple mice because I cut some extras just so I would have them if I want to make more cards. And then these super cute little bows. So those bows are part of in the dies and they have just a little, you have to poke them out, they don't come out real great, but they're super tiny. So you have just that, <laughs> can't even hold on to it, it's so tiny. Just have that little bow. So each one of these balloons is gonna have a bow, so I wanna make sure I have four of them ready. So I will get four of them poked out before we even start stamping for the rest of the card. And of course, again, I have extra of these as well just because I wanted to make sure I had enough and then I could do an extra card if I wanted to. Let's just get those all off to the side and out of the way before I make a huge mess with them. Because you know, that's what I will do. Now, the first thing you wanna do is take that little word bubble and get your memento ink to stamp your sentiment. Now, the fantastic thing about these words is they are on two different stamps. So we're gonna start with this balloon is special and we'll put that at the top left of the little word bubble. And it's best if you have it, you can stand directly over the top of it, or if you have it lined up on your graph paper like this, you can you probably can't see it very well, but I know where the top of it is because of the lines on the graph paper. And then stamp it with memento, and then just kind of pull it off with your, take your pick tool or something else similar. And then we are gonna do, it's filled with helium kind of off to the right bottom and do the same thing. Just pull it off with your take your pick tool. And then that's gonna need some time to dry. Now you can also 
dry it using your heat tool. That's really good for drying the ink on vellum. It's perfect, but you don't have to. You can just do it this way if you want. Just let it air dry. So I'll try to stamp that first. I did already stamp one that has my sentiment on it. And right at this moment, I don't see it sitting here because why would I? Because I really want it, right? All right, we're going to open that gray granite ink again. We can get all of our other little guys out of the way here that we've already stamped. And we will just start with that Whisper White cardstock for the front. If you are watching, do you have this stamp set? What do you think of it? Do you like it? And then, actually, I'm sorry, I did, again, lied to you again about my ink. I used um, the Memento for the balloon string, so we'll open that one up as well. So now this little splat stamp I got out of the Beauty Abounds stamp set, which is, I will show you the stamp set real quick. So it has these fantastic little bubbles and this little splat, the butterflies, but I need, wanted something for the background, but I didn't want it to be a lot of detail. I just wanted it a little. So what I did was ink it up with gray granite, stamp off one time, and then just stamp a random pattern on your card, different spots. Now, I think it would be pretty if you did even the color of the balloons if you wanted to, especially for a birthday card, I think that would be fantastic. But since this was a get well card, I thought, mm, I'm just gonna kind of go with the gray granite for the background because I kind of liked the way it looked. So that's all I did for the background, super easy. And then you have just that little splattered background on there, which I think is fantastic. Then take your Memento ink. And the first one that I wanted to stamp was this little balloon at the bottom because I wanted to make sure I had room for my little mouse to sit here and then have a balloon here next to him. And then the other ones you can just put however you want to do them, floating toward the sky, it doesn't really matter higher, lower, kind of left, right, even if they're hanging off the edge just a little bit because we have lots of space around here that they can be kind of hanging off. It's not a huge deal if they hang off the edge a little bit. Close up your ink and then we'll just start layering. So we wanna get these layered before we add our balloons on there. So just go ahead and use your snail adhesive or if you have Tombow glue that you wanna use, Whatever you prefer, doesn't matter. Of course, you know me, I like my snail adhesive, so I'm gonna use that. I put a post earlier too, just so you all know if you're watching. If you are now in the homeschool situation and you weren't before and you need some little art projects for your kids, I've made up a few little kits. They are free. All you have to do is private message me and I will send you the kit. Nothing is stamped and I don't send you stamps or ink, but you have all the little card, some little card bases and things that are left over from old paper pumpkins that I have that I thought would just be cute to send out so your kids could make some little greeting cards for someone that they love. And here I am putting my balloons on. Like I said, I was not going to until I... <laughs> had everything adhered to the front of the card. But I think I'm actually gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this this time, just so we can see how it looks with a little bit of dimension to it. Put that little red balloon at the top and I'm gonna stick with, actually I didn't even need, I'm gonna scoop that off, glue on that part because I wanna put a dimensional on that balloon. I want that, that balloon raised up a little bit for the mouse. Let me just get a wipe and wipe that off. So how is it where you are? Are the sh shelves empty? That's kind of what it is like here right now in a lot of most, I mean, not everything by any means, but oh my gosh, people are just hoarding things like it's the end of the world. And I guess I get the panic a little bit, but holy moly, people are just a little bit obnoxious. Let's just put it that way. So then take one of each of your little bows. If you can get them scooped up because they stick right to your paper there and put one 
on your balloon. I just put a tiny little drop of Tombow there for those, one at the base of each balloon. I love these little bows. I just think they're adorable. And then for this one on the side, you kind of want this longer string. I don't know, you probably can't see it the way I've got it laying, but there's a little longer string on the right-hand side of that bow. Just kind of have it over to the right a little bit because we want our little mouse to have it look like he's holding on to it. So you want that string just to be kind of aimed that way. So when you put your little mouse here, his little hand can be holding on to that string. All right, now for this, we are going to flip it over. We're gonna fold our real red cardstock in half. Grab my phone folder, give it a good crease like we always do. And then I wanna put some dimensionals on the back just to kind of pop this one up versus the first one that I did flat. That way you get a little, you can see what it looks like that way as well. I just literally think this is the cutest stamp set ever. I really can't tell you how long I've been looking at it going, I need to make a card, I need to make a card. And finally did. Had that one dimensional hanging off the end just a little bit, but I think it's just a cute one. And I know I have someone I can send this to, so I will be getting this card in the mail to someone tomorrow. I love it when I have a card and I already have a recipient for it and I'm ready to send it. All right, let's take a piece of Whisper White cardstock. We'll put that on the inside real quick before we add our sentiment because I want to do that last because I don't want to flip the card over because that ink is still a little bit wet on that vellum. It'll probably take all night to dry even after I get it on here. I'll just let it sit all night and I just won't touch this card until the morning when I'm getting ready to mail it. And I wanna make sure I don't touch any of the ink that's on it either. So all I'm gonna do is I'm going to take, and I'm just gonna set this here because I wanna look and see about how much of that balloon I need um, the glue on. And then just spread a little bit of glue with the tip of that glue bottle, and then you just stick your sentiment directly to that. That is the only thing holding this sentiment up. I didn't put any um, dimensionals behind it. I just kind of glued it right to the front of that balloon, and that was it. That is everything. It's done. Yay! I love this cute little card. I hope you enjoyed today's One Card Wonder Wednesday for March 18th, 2020. Um, I hope you will go to my blog, stampinwithvalerie.com in a little while. I will have all the measurements and written instructions so you can recreate this card for yourself or for someone, or just obviously to send to someone. But I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Stay safe and have a great week. Bye.